So next up, let's have a look at how we create font packages from our newly uploaded fonts, and then we can start to use those in our SharePoint sites. So now that we've got our fonts uploaded, we're going to now create what we call a font package. Now this font package is going to then be available for site owners to then use to brand and customize their SharePoint sites. So we can see that I'm in the brand center here. Uh, here are the fonts that we've uploaded in the previous lesson. So we've got the Roboto font and we've also got the outfit font. And we can see there, there are all the font files. Now down the bottom here of the brand center, we can see under the apply your brand section, we've got the ability here to create font packages and themes. So let's jump into SharePoint here and you can see that we need to create what we call a font package. So we've got a nice big tile here. We can combine our brand fonts into packages that define how the content appears inside of the SharePoint experiences. So when we click on add a font package, we can see we've got three steps we need to go through. We choose our font, we've got a display font, and we've got a content font. So display fonts are used sparingly to emphasize the more important items. So we choose our display font that really um, uniquely identifies our brand. Now, I'm going to choose the outfit font here for our display font. Um, and then we can then choose uh, Roboto for our content font. Okay, so you can see the content fonts are used widely to ensure consistency and legibility at all sizes. So I'm going to choose that as our uh, as our content font. And you can see we get a preview. We've got our new font package on the right hand side. We've got our display font. I set to outfit, and then we've got Roboto as our content font. So we'll click the next button here. Now we need to assign our fonts. So here we've got titles, we've got headlines, we've got body, and we've got the interactive section at the bottom. So we can see the title. Uh, the title fonts used to identify the most distinct items for your experience. So I'm going to use outfit for titles and headlines. Now the body content, I'm now going to choose uh, Roboto. And now the interactive one here, it's used for items that trigger uh, action. So things like buttons and, and that type of thing. So we need to consider using our content font with bold or semi style here. So I'm going to choose Roboto and I'll choose bold here. Now you can see that we haven't set the style for the titles and the headlines. So we'll go back up to the top. Now the title, I want to send now the outfit font that we did upload gives us a lot of different styles here as well. Now I, for the titles, I'm going to choose semi-bold and for the headlines, I'm going to choose, uh, let's go for extra bold for our headlines and the body, I'm just going to choose as regular. So now we're all set, we'll click the next button here. Now we need to enter our package name. So this is what's going to appear for people when they choose uh, choose a package. So let's call this one uh, Copilot Studio as the brand. We do want this visible um, and then we've got our accessibility reminder here. So we hit save and that is going to create our package for us. So you can see there we've got our font package newly created. So now our font package has been created. We're now on our SharePoint communication site. So if I now hop into the top right hand corner and click the settings icon, we can go to change the look. Now under change the look, you can see that we've got a new option under font. So when I click font, now I can see my available font packages. We've got a couple from Microsoft that are there out of the box. And you can see that I now have Copilot Studio from my organization. And if I change that, we'll be able to see that that will be, uh, that will be set. And you can see on the screen on the left hand side, the navigation has changed font, the titles have changed font, the body content has changed font as well. So let's hit save. 
and we'll scroll down the page and we'll take a look at what that looks like. So again, we can see that we've got uh, our custom font here. We've got Roboto there, uh, and then we've got also underneath here, our custom fonts that have been now applied to our site. 